Hi, it's Scott Moyes here from Capro Systems in New Zealand. I've been asked a few times now what the main differences are between Fusion 360 and Fusion 360 Ultimate when it comes to the cam functionality. So I thought that it would be best just to do a quick video to explain what those differences are. What it boils down to is the ability to position multiple axes. So if you have a fourth axis or a five axis on your machine, or you're using a lathe with a live with any live tooling in either the X or the Y axis, then Fusion 360 Ultimate is going to give you an extra set of tools to be more productive and program parts more quickly and more accurately. In the future, as a Fusion 360 Ultimate user, you'll have access to all of the simultaneous four and five axis toolpaths. Now, I'll show you an example of what that is if you aren't sure what the differences are between positional and simultaneous. But before I do that, I just want to show you what the user interface differences are and it's pretty simple. The simplicity really hides the, the power of the function but in all of the operations both 2D and 3D and drilling in the geometry tab there'll be a checkbox available called tool orientation and what that does is it allows you to use model geometry to define where the Z and the X axes are orientated so in the simplest form for drilling you can drill in the background here with this universal joint you can specify very quickly the direction for drilling those holes and then in a fourth axis or a mill turn situation the CNC would orientate to align the, the part with the drill bit and, and drill the hole correctly. So what's the difference between simultaneous and um, positional multi-axis? So I've got this particular model here it's a section of a ute liner I've cut it down just to fit it on this machine model that I've got and this section of the model here is planar and so is this edge here all the way down and along so whereas the edges in between those, the faces in between those two sections are continuous curvature they're constantly changing their angle so the first part of this simulation is simultaneous movement so all five axes are moving at the same time and you can see that by the values changing down here so throughout the move everything's all five axes are moving right the way down to the end of this particular set of surfaces so that type of toolpath isn't currently possible in Fusion 360 Ultimate but it will be in the future whereas this is a positional move so the head has been orientated and it's completely locked so the C and the B, the 4th and the 5th axis are completely locked and aren't changing at all and then the head, the tool just moves around in the remaining 3 axes repositions again and then cuts the next set of faces. So those last two moves are definitely possible with Fusion 360 using the tool orientation feature. So what does that translate to practically? Well, essentially in Fusion 360 Basic, you're gonna to have to create a whole bunch of extra setups, define new stock each and every time, which means that it's a lot more difficult for you to carry over the remaining stock from one setup to the next. So for every single drill operation that you want to carry out, you're going to have to create a new setup to define a new z-axis. So this has the z-axis pointing this way, and this one here is the same. So actually what will happen if I show you currently I've got this with tool orientation turned on. If I turn that off, the drill bit's coming from the wrong direction. I don't want it to come from over there so I'm gonna to have to come into this setup and flip the z-axis over the other way and regenerate and that's coming from the correct direction now I've already set this created this basic setup so I'll just step through how that was done milling or turning well in this case drilling is milling Model orientation, um, well that's not quite right. I'm just going to come in here and set to from solid and choose my stop that I modeled earlier on. 
And I'm doing this so that I can use the same solid over and over again. Uh, which isn't ideal because obviously as we machine through and develop the part as we go, then more and more stock is disappearing. So coming back to here, now I want to be able to specify my model orientation. So Z, I want to use the face of that hole and then I need to flip it. But now my origin's in the wrong place. So I need to change that and put it back to the front of the stock to match how it's set up in my lathe. With that, I can now apply a drilling operation to this face and it's going to be orientated in the correct way. Then I'd have to duplicate that to do the other side, edit this, flip the axis, and then edit this and select that hole and yeah so you know it kind of gets a, a bit much there's no carryover of the stock you're basically doing the same thing twice each time whereas in the ultimate setup I'll just delete these here it's one setup over the whole job it's the same coordinate system every single time I don't have to keep repositioning the, the origin and my stock I can use the stock tools or I could still use the solid if I want but it's just a lot quicker and easier from there then I've applied my profiling operation 2D adaptive so I've roughed that out and I've used the same approach here I've turned on tool orientation and I've selected this cylindrical face to define my z-axis then if I wanted to do that from the other side all I need to do is flip the z-axis and that's it so I have both my adapters from both sides my drills drilling operations are really straightforward I can just keep copying and duplicating and then editing just what I need to get the results that I need instead of having to go through and reselect and reset up each and every time. So really at this stage it's just a productivity gain being able to do tool orientation um, and then in the future you're going to have all of the new simultaneous multi-axis so flow and uh, multi-axis morph the types of toolpaths that you get in HSM works currently. Hopefully that's cleared a few things up and you can see that there's a lot to be gained um, from a productivity standpoint by using Fusion 360 Ultimate and you're certainly going to be getting all of the goodies in the future as well. Thanks for tuning in and um, I'll see you again next time. Cheers, bye.